Hi guys, welcome back to the show. We definitely appreciate you guys watching. And this is a Firewatch show. This is a show where I talk about whatever I want. I talk about life. I talk about God. I talk about family. I talk about self-defense. I talk about what's going on. I talk about confrontations that I have with people, random people out there in my, in my regular days. So here's the deal. I get accused of stolen valor at least once a week. And the last one was actually hilarious because the guy actually told me that I'm not the guy in the profile, uh, profile picture that I have. So you see the picture right here, right here. So again, <laughs> it's kind of funny because the comment went this way. He told me that I'm not that guy. Or oh, where do I got that picture from? Something like that. That I was uh, a Marine buddy of him. Something like that. Again, I should have taken a picture of that comment. I didn't. And he actually erased the comment when I replied to him. Dude, listen, that's me, 2010, Afghanistan. So that is me. I know that because that is me. So you may want to check your Marine friend. But anyways, I get things like that all the time, and, and it kills me because I, if you read the comments, I got guys here watching me that when I went to bookend with. I got my good buddy Wix. I went to bookend with. You can check the comments. Some of those guys will put comments. I get guys that I serve in the military in the comments. So if I, anytime I say something that I, I'm out of sight or something that is out there, trust me, they're going to call me out. And if I say something that is not really military related, that, that, that it will blow somebody's mind, I got to tell you guys, there is guys following me here that are senior Marines, senior Army guys, senior military guys, not, not your basic soldier that did four years and got out. There is guys following me here in the channel that have been in the military for a long time. Infantry guys, logistics guys. I mean, you name it. it they, they are here. Follow me in the channel. So trust me, if at any point I said something that is like, whoa, they will call me out. But I find myself in a situation where I always get, you know, I get guys saying, oh, you weren't in the military. You know, you weren't a Marine. Dude, not only I was a Marine. I was a staff sergeant on Marines. I made it to that rank. I made it to the staff NCO ranks. So not only I was a Marine, I made it to the staff NCO ranks. I was a staff sergeant on Marines. And I still hold the sign. I still hold the rank. I got a blue ID card in here that says I have it. So, you know, it kills me when I hear these people talking all the stuff like, oh, you were a Marine, you're stealing Valor, blah, blah, blah. You know why? If you don't think I was a Marine, I'm going to show you some pictures. So just for fun, because you know what? This gives me another reason to make a video, and I love making videos. So there I am. There I am. I was pretty young in that picture, but there I am. There I am again. There is me as a vehicle commander, meaning that I not only was a Marine, I, I actually ran a team. In Iraq, my cosign was Guardian 1-4, and there we are running combat operations. So for all you U-2 operators, Call of Duty, that is a combat operation right here, wherever it is. So there we are. Uh, by the way, I love those guys. My driver and my gunner, man, I miss you guys. You guys were great, and, and I wish I could talk to you guys again. So, again, here, here, here's a video of me re-enlisting. So again, you know, I know I'm a little bit younger. That was about six years ago. But there's a video of me re-enlisting. There's a video of me fighting uh, my good buddy. Actually, that guy from Mateo. Mateo always watch. Appreciate your service, brother. That guy was uh, uh, in the combat engineer uh, section. And, and I got to tell you, I, I got my butt right there pretty kicked by him because that was a good fight. And that guy fought pretty good. So again, a lot of freaking guys come here and, and they're constantly harassing, you know, like constantly talking all this crap. Like, oh, you weren't in the military. You weren't this. You weren't that. Come on, dude. You know, it kills me to see these firearm instructors. If you're a firearm instructor, I don't care about your opinion. I truly don't. When you come here to the channel to give your opinion and to compare your career with mine, I just don't care. I know that maybe you want to come here to share your opinions because I do have an audience and it's probably going to bring you some traction maybe to your channel or maybe to your business, but I truly don't care. You know, when you send me an email to tell me, hey, you know what, uh, you shouldn't be talking about this and I'm a blah, blah, 
I really don't care because you know what? I got several instructor qualifications, but you don't see me showing it here and telling people, oh, look, I, uh, blah, blah, blah. Train hundreds of Marines, hundreds of Marines on patrols, on law enforcement operations, in so many things. But you don't see me here telling you guys that, oh, you, you need to do it this way because if you don't do it this way, you run. You know, some of you guys are, are, are truly mistaken. You think that because you took an NRA class or you took a class with one of those freaking uh, operators that, that, you know, teach here in the community, in the gun community, you think you're highly qualified. You think you could come into some of those people's channel and talk all this stuff. Like, oh, you know, you don't know anything. I took an NRA class, firearm 101, blah, 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 and I took a class with these two guys. No. I mean, really, no. Uh, come on, dude. I don't care. So when you come in here and you want to compare your career with my career, truly know that I don't care because truly I'm not here to compare careers. I'm here to have fun, guys. I'm here to have a blast. I'm here to be part of the community. And most importantly, I'm here to share what I know. And at the end of that, give glory to God because God is good. That's why in every single video I say God is in control because maybe that's going to gonna plant the seed in somebody. And somebody's going to seek out God. And that's what I want. So again, I really don't care if you have a better qualification than me. I really don't care if you're being in the range better than me. And I really don't care if you have a better career than me. Good for you. So, and for all you guys out there that you think I'm still in Valor, read the comment. Some of the guys out there will tell you if I serve in the military or not. And, and, and again, I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you think. Put comments down below. If you serve in the military, I thank you for your service. If you are part, if you, you know, you're a son, a brother, uh, a mother, or anything like that of a military guy, I thank you for your service as well. Because a lot of times we forget those guys. And I got to tell you, family members make great sacrifices also as well for this country. So I thank you for your service. So again, appreciate you guys watching. Like this type of video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel, share the videos, and God is in control.